it feels really awesome. I couldn't believe it, to be honest. I jumped off the pit and said, I don't think I just cleared that. And then coach and I were super pumped, um, but it hadn't sunk in for a while. And now that I'm training and getting back into it, it has, but just very happy to be going. We knew part of it was survival. Um, so it's, it's preparing and surviving all at the same time. And, you know, we, we went through the ACC championships. It was a little chaotic with the weather. It didn't really pan out the way we felt we were prepared to, for it to pan out. Um, but, you know, the next day she was ready to, ready to start preparing herself for the NCAA championship season. So, and that paid off. You know, she was, she was ready. She was healthy. And she felt good on the day, and the day blessed us with good weather. So she overcame all the obstacles prior to the regional championship to, to have the day of her life. And it was it was really competitive. I mean, our our NCAA meet that we're about to go to, six of the athletes that are in the competition are from the ACC. So that's that speaks volumes about how competitive our conference is in the women's pole vault. I actually. There have been a lot of lows this season and this whole year. Um, last year I broke my foot and I had to come back from that. I honestly didn't know if I was going to run again. Um, I did a lot of physical therapy and I started this year on poles smaller than I was even on in high school. And um, it was definitely a process and coach kept reminding me of that. And, you know, we had to work through a bunch of stuff and I had a really tough indoor I redshirted but I still I didn't do anything that I wanted to but I could kind of see the potential there and outdoor it started pretty rough but I gradually chipped away at those lower heights and built myself back up to you know jumping to where I was at and then surpassing where I was at the year before and um, I I kept seeing it coming a long time before uh, regionals but I knew that I wanted to peak at regionals and that was my plan the whole year and it worked out and so I'm, um, you know, I was really happy that it did and happy that my plan worked, but uh, you just never know. It depends on the day totally. So, yeah, you know, uh, what we have been doing is uh, with her especially is discovering what the best uh, routine is for her, what the best uh, process is for her from one day to the next. And we discovered one that really worked through the NCAA regional meet and that kept her healthy through that period of time and helped her progress in her vault. So something that, that we sat down and talked about is you know, this is a meet we're going to that she's never been to before, and, and what, what do we need to know about it? And what I told her was that I, I think the most important thing is to is to not change anything, is to, to stay on the same thing, the same process that's been working. We don't want to dig our heels in and try to do more. We don't want to, we don't want to train harder. We want to train smarter, and training smarter is exactly what we've been doing. Uh, so we're going to stick with the same process, and and expect the outcome to be just as good as it was at regionals. In preparing for the national meet, I think a lot of athletes want to train harder and, um, you know, really give it their all. They've been training hard all year uh, for whatever regionals, etc. So they think train even harder for nationals. But um, and I kind of had that mindset too. And coach sat me down the other day and told me we're going to keep doing exactly what we've been doing because it's been working. You're on a great path. We know you can jump higher than what you did at regionals and let's just keep everything the same, keep chipping away and stay in the process, you know, a little bit longer. And so I'm happy with that. And I think it's the right training plan. Um, it's perfect for me. So I'm happy to, happy to have him as, you know, as my guide. Cause I, I would have come back and beat myself up and probably would have been exhausted by the time we got to Eugene. Beginning of the season, beginning of the year, Katie was coming off of injury, um, so we knew we had to we had to have the process going pretty slow. I mean, we joke about it where we started the beginning of the fall, whenever we were allowed to start vaulting, and and kind of how much we've progressed. Whether it's been the length of a run, the amount she can work out, uh, the pulls that we've we've progressed through, and the heights that came with that. Um, so really. 
it was a matter of understanding it's going to be a long process and sticking with the process and we always talking we always talk about uh, falling in love with the process is it's going to beat you up sometimes and sometimes going to be great sometimes it's going to be bad but you just fall in love with the process loving it hating it and sticking with it